So we're going to complete example three, which involves real life problems. And a lot of the time in real life, you're trying to find time differences. Let's look at question A. So question A says, if I arrived at work at 900 hours or 9 a.m. and left at 16, 15 hours, how many hours was I at work? So to work these out, it really helps to have some sort of a number line to help visualize exactly what's going on. So here's our arrival at work, uh, 900 hours, and then we left at 16, 15 hours. Once you've put these two points down, you then need to look at where 12 o'clock lies. So 12 o'clock, probably somewhere around here, um, 1200 hours or 12 p.m. or 12 noon. And then you find the differences of each interval separately. For instance, the time from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock is 3 hours. It takes 3 hours to get from 9 to 12. And then you go, all right, well, how long does it take to get from 12 o'clock to 16, 15 hours? And that's actually going to be 4 hours and 15 minutes. And you could quite easily just go 16 minus 12 is, is 4. And then after looking at that, you can then work it out by going, all right, well, 3 hours plus 4 hours is 7 hours. And then I had my 15 minutes. And that's how long I was at work. Now, there is an easier way to work it out. And we're going to go through that now. But it really only works if you've got 24-hour time. And what you do is you go, all right, so... I finished, or I left work at 16.15, so I'm going to write it as a number without the colon. So I'm going to write it as 1,615, and I arrived at work at 0900 hours, so 900. And we're just going to subtract these two numbers. We're just going to grab our calculator and go 1615 minus 0900, which gives me the number 715. And you can see by looking at this number that that's the same as saying 7 hours 15 minutes. So this could have been done in a really simple way without the number timeline. But usually it's best to use the number timeline because this method on the right doesn't always work. Especially when you've got AM and PM time or 12 hour time. So let's look at question B which has to be done using the timeline. So we, um, we're finding the difference between 4.30 AM and 2.20 PM. So we'll write 4.30 a.m. and 2.20 p.m. on the right. And we're going to look at the for the 12 o'clock. So the 12 o'clock's about here. Um, it'll be 12 p.m. It's 12 noon. All right. So we're going to find the distance between these two intervals. And we'll start with the easier interval at the end. The, the time difference from 12 to 2.20 is 2 hours and 20 minutes. So that's quite easy to see. Now it's a little tricky going from 4.30 to 12 o'clock and sometimes it helps to add in another time and we're going to add in 5 a.m. and the reason we're doing that is because it's a bit easier to find the difference from 5 a.m. to 12 o'clock. It's a seven hour difference because 5 plus 7 is 12. And then we can look at this tiny little interval here from 4.30 to 5 o'clock is a half hour or 30 minute interval. So by breaking it into three intervals here, we can now add everything up. We have seven hours and two hours. So seven hours plus two hours is nine hours. We have 20 minutes and 30 minutes. So 30 minutes plus 20 minutes is 50 minutes. So our time difference is 9 hours and 50 minutes. Okay. Now I've also got two more questions to do, C and D, but I'm going to do that in the next, uh, next video. So I'll see you later.